In this lesson, I'm going to try and clarify some of the terminology involved in learning the banjo. Hopefully an understanding of the terminology will help avoid any confusion that the beginner might encounter when learning the basics. Firstly, let's talk about the strings and how they're referred to. Often the strings are referred to by their musical pitch. So a high D string is the D string that is higher in musical pitch. Physically on the banjo, it's actually lower. That is, it's nearer the ground. But make no mistake, when we refer to the high D string, this is the one we mean. The one that has the higher musical pitch. Similarly, this is the low D string, the one that has the lower pitch. In this way, the high G string is the short string that stops halfway up the neck, and the low G string is the string right in the middle. Sometimes this string is called the middle G. In order to avoid confusion then, the strings are often referred to by number, starting with the D string that's nearest the ground, called 1. Then the B string is 2, the G string in the middle is 3, the fat D string is 4, and the short G string is 5. In this way we can describe roll patterns. A forward roll will be 3, 2, 1, 3, 2, 1. An alternating thumb roll, for example, will be 3, 2, 5, 1, 3, 2, 5, 1. Once you have this idea down, we can talk about frets. The frets, or metal wires inserted in the fingerboard, are also numbered, starting with the nut as zero. Then we count up from there, one, two, three, usually ending at 22. But some banjos have more, some have less. If we finger a D7 chord, as shown, then my index finger is placed just behind fret 1 and my middle finger just behind fret 2. Sometimes chord diagrams are used to show how a chord should be played. This is just like a little picture of the fretboard showing where to put your fingers. This is D7. This is C. Numbers are also used in music terminology to refer to the degree of a scale but that's for a later time. That brings us to tablature. Tablature is the banjo player's music notation. It's particularly used by banjo players because firstly it's easy to learn, but also because on the banjo there are often many ways of playing the same note and the tablature helps resolve that confusion. It also lets us see the picking patterns a bit easier. The five lines of the tablature represent the strings of the banjo, string one at the top and string five at the bottom. Here is the tablature for a forward backward roll played over the open G strings. It sounds like this. If we finger a D7 chord, then the tablature for the same roll pattern looks like this. It sounds like this. You can see the fret numbers are used on the tablature to show where to finger the chord, or where to finger the strings. The same roll pattern over a C chord looks like this, and sounds like this. A completely fingered C chord looks like this on a chord chart, and you can see that the roll doesn't play the note on the low D string. For this reason, we don't always have to finger every note of the chord if the picking doesn't require it, so we can simplify the C chord here to just two fingers. This is always the scenario in banjo playing. No point in fretting notes that aren't being played. Tablature also allows us to read the timing of the notes, which for beginners are usually in 4-4 four, four time, meaning that we count 1, 2, 3, 4 for each bar or measure of music. A lot of banjo music uses eighth notes though, 
So the count becomes 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and. Here's an example where the count is 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and. <laughs> Sometimes we leave out certain notes to change the count slightly. Here's an example where the count is 1, 2 and 3, 4 and. Or alternating the bass. Here's another example where the count is 1, 2 and 3 and 4 and. Often you'll see that Bando tablature has a 2-4 time signature. This is because a lot of bluegrass music is pretty fast and the feel is more of a 2-4 pulse. We count this 1 E and a 2 E and a 1 E and a 2 E and a 1 E and a 2 E and a. Still 8 notes to the bar, but it's easy to say fast. So when we're going fast. There's a lot more to timing, and I'll cover it elsewhere. But for now, though, you can just use the examples I've given here to get by. Tablature can also show the right hand or picking hand fingers to use. T represents the thumb, I the index finger, and M the middle finger. Here's an example from a more complicated melodic run. Quite often the fingers of the picking hand are reasonably obvious, so they're left out to keep the tablature simple. Where the picking hand differs from standard, I will usually point this out and explain. So tablature allows us to notate banjo music with a simple system that's easy to learn and easy to understand. We'll use it a lot in the coming lessons. For more great beginner banjo lessons, go to markwardle.net slash beginnerbanjo.